be so uncomfortable in there. You got a cushion back there. What? A cushion for the pushing? You ain't going to be hitting no shit back there. With a car like this, who are you picking up? You ain't picking up nobody unless she's blind. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. Today, we're back on Facebook Marketplace. Just looking at the killer Black Friday deals. Um, it seems like the Black Friday sale is still going on at a lot of stores, in including these dummy dum dums trying to fire sale their uh, sick builds. So today we're going to take a look at them, see if they're worth it, see if somebody might be getting a new uh, car for this Christmas season. Maybe somebody's going to see this listing and be like, you know what, that would be a great gift for blank. Jesus Christ, I hope I'm not blank. That, th these are nightmarish cars. I would not want to own any one of these, but we'll take a look and see if they're just as bad as I think they are. Anyways, this video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. More on them in a bit. For now... Let's dive right in. All right, first car, 1996 Mazda MX-5 Miata. And that don't look like no goddamn Miata if I've ever seen one. Somebody took an Acura Integra front bumper and stuffed it onto a Miata. And they also put a 2JZ GE underneath the hood. I didn't see this. I looked at the first photo and, and just saw that. And that is a freak of nature. Like, that is nightmare fuel right there. Like, especially with the little teeth. But it looks like he built a drift car out of a rat's nest of parts uh looks like looks like a crackhead's interior looks like well yeah the crackhead's trunk as well you got a little fuel cell there you got your battery box in the back um this is this is a uh this is quite the project card now to give the man credit i'm pretty sure he did this all himself and it's it's pretty quite obvious when you look underneath the hood that doesn't look like a professional shop did that so give the man a round of applause for at least doing it now does it mean it should be done? And does it mean it's not a fire hazard? Uh, no, this is probably a fire hazard. You probably can't register this thing under full coverage. <laughs> you probably can't do that. Um, it, like I said, it's cool. It is a GE. We could actually watch a video of it drifting right here. I'm not going to turn on the audio because it's probably just screechy ass tires. Great camera work, by the way. Love recording the grass right there. Yeah, it's sliding. Yeah, I mean it works. The cool, the great thing is you get the reliability. Sorry, the 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 video sideways. I'm fixing it for you guys, but I gotta bust my neck to fucking look at this thing. The the good news is you get the reliability of the JZ, and then you put in a Miata. I mean it kind of throws off the whole weight distribution and stuff like that. But it, I mean it, it's a cool concept. It is a cool concept. Um, no lift shift. The man, the myth, the legend. He had a JZ Miata, and it was a death. It was a death trap. Uh, it was a death trap. He, then took that and put that into an IS, and that was the way to go. So for $8,000, I mean, you're, you are getting some work, um, and you are just buying, at the end of the day, a drift car. Is, is this worth $8,000 in the drift community? Because you are not taking this thing to car meets, at least not any that you're going to be respected at. Some people will come and look at it and be like, wow. And they'll be like, that is a fucking piece of shit. Because it does look like a, you know, <laughs> a death trap. I mean, look at the wire loom over here. I mean, it is definitely a garage build. Again, he did it. Hats off to him. This is also an IS300 interior, I just noticed. So hats off to him for doing it. But it is it is pretty um, ratchet. But if you want to burn $8,000, here you go. Here you go. It's probably a fun car if it runs right. Next car, 2007 Honda Civic SI sedan. And although I could spend all day fishing for insults for this one, I just want to go real fishing for once. This video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash is a way for people who love outdoors and fishing to enjoy their favorite hobby on their phones, anywhere, anytime. Now, I've only been fishing a couple times and that was when I was just a wee boy. It's something that I would like to get back into, but there's just not enough hours in the day at the moment. So the best way I've found to scratch that ish is to play Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash is more than just a fishing game though. In Fishing Clash, you could develop your own fishing village, duel in PvP competitive online games, and compete in weekly and daily events. There's clans, equipment upgrades, variety of fish species, and customization options. Now you guys know me, I love customizing everything I have, just to look at my cars, for example. So if you think I'm gonna go fishing with a basic rod, you've got me wrong. Fishing Clash supplies you with a variety of different rods that all have important characteristics. Each rod is assigned to a fishery, each rod has the same characteristics, a chance to catch instantly, and increasing value of combo bonus points. Each rod also has its own level, and rods can be upgraded using other rods of the same tier. 
Don't forget that there's a large social component in Fishing Clash. You can have a maximum of 50 members in each clan, allowing you guys to communicate and achieve game goals together. If I'm ever at a car meet and it's not popping off yet, I'll be sitting in my car playing Fishing Clash, waiting for the cars to pop up, just like I'm waiting for them fish. There's also a large variety of global fishing locations. So if you're bored of one area, you can travel around the world at the touch of your fingertips. Download the game by using my link in the description box or scan the QR code code you see on screen and use my special gift code drew peacock this will get you a special $20 value reward including a unique avatar for free thank you fishing clash for sponsoring this video let's get back to it back to the car 2007 honda civic si sedan eight thousand dollars for the, for the same price as a jay-z swapped miata rust bucket frankenstein build you can buy this this is the definition of Big things coming this year, fellas. Big things, man. Don't sleep on me. Big changes happen. And this is the definition of it. This is how the car probably looked in January. And this is how it looks now in November. Almost December. Big things come and Oh, man. This thing's going to be hot, bro. We're going to be all over the internet with this fucking 07 Honda, bro. This shit's going to be hard, dude. All the edits. Oh, my God. I can't wait, bro. We're going viral. I do like the EG in the background. He's got an actual decent car. He just destroyed this one by trying to make it a stancy boy. What did you end up trying to do to the car? It looks like he tried to do so much body work. It looks like he bought a car that was in like a shootout, like a Bonnie and Clyde shootout, and then tried to do body work to, to salvage it, and he gave up on it. I don't blame you, man. At the end of the day, look at what you're working on. I mean, it's just a Honda Civic. I mean, unless you really like these 07s, I would understand. E K E G E F. I would understand. Take the time level out the body you know these cars aren't going to be around forever but the 07 these are a dime a dozen you can find these anywhere um it looks like he did the tiktok trend of smashing his tail lights unless he just bought some clears on ebay yeah man big things coming maybe that was the wrap color he was going to go with and i do say it looks good on your hood the rest of the car though i don't know what does that say i don't know if i'm just dyslexic but i thought it said over cheese but it uh, it i i really do have some bad dyslexia i'm not gonna lie broken bro this whole car is broken what do you want for eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars for this thing testing waters want to see cash or trade nobody's gonna buy a beat ass honda civic for eight thousand dollars the plan was a molded wide body, but in the end, I'm starting to lose interest. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. Let's get rid of it while we can. Let's go get you a Mustang. For the right offer, I might let it go, depending, but I got attachment issues, bro. I just, I can't let her go. I just can't let her go, man. Custom sanded tiger cam <laughs> because the wrap peels off my paint. Oh, uh, that's what happened. Yeah, that makes sense. Car will come with a roll of gloss white KPMF wrap front end conversion okay so you just did a bunch of cosmetic stuff and it's on airlift at least it's on airlift i'm so happy that this thing is not static so he spent the money to make it nice but yeah he's losing interest because at the end of the day these cars these static cars in my opinion are just boring man you, you just you drive and you park and the car scrapes and stuff like that um this isn't a static one so it's it's more conventional and more ethical but it, it's boring at the end of the day good job trying to get rid of it sadly uh you're getting rid of it at way too high of a price for what you're looking at um let's move on 1993 toyota corolla le sedan two thousand dollars this is on the upper echelons of of these uh 93 corollas i guess this is a um, little bit of a high-end build right here let's take a look at it so wait we've seen this one we have seen this one yeah we've seen this one it's still for sale nine weeks ago i could see why it's still for sale two thousand dollars though dude what are you smoking two thousand dollars at least you get a mushroom filter yeah okay so we have seen this one when i pull these cars for a video i pull them just based on like the first image i kind of want to go over them together and i saw this and i was like okay yeah i don't recognize it but then i saw the robo car and we've actually seen this crackhead's car before and it's still for sale because that's what happens when you ruin cars i mean nobody wants to buy this there ain't a father out there that's buying this for their son and there ain't a son out there wasting two bands on this piece of shit there it's just not happening if this thing was like 500 800 bucks you know some idiot might buy it for a stupid event and then just thrash it at the event if they have like a burnout box or something i could see that happening and then they just dump the car you know pay someone to come pick it up this yeah this ain't happening this <laughs> this ain't happening nobody's wasting two thousand dollars on this we don't need to waste too much time on this i mean you, you guys 
<laughs> Look at the car. We don't need to waste too much time on this. Um, I do want to see. Is there a description? No radio. No AC. Uh, heat works. Needs work. Always starts. Always runs. And what does it need work on? Amazing on gas. Interior needs work. New fuel pump. New front struts. New brakes. New rotors. New air filter. New spot. Yeah, so uh, bullshit. I can just tell you right now. I love how it says amazing. Always runs. Always starts. But it, <laughs> it does need work, though, in some areas. It does need work, Um, you know, in most areas. Next car, 1992 Mazda MX-5 Miata, fifteen thousand dollars. Kinda high. Look at what you're looking at. Definitely high. Who the hell would pay that for the Spider Mobile right here? How do you mess up such a simple design like a Miata and turn it into this? Like this is just wrong on so many levels. You have six headlights, like a goddamn spider, an arachnid. I do see an intercooler, but it looks like it's held together with AC ducting, so it's probably non-functional. We'll take a look in a second. The bodywork is fine, like the panels line up good, the paint looks good, but it's just the ugliest body kit or conversion or whatever the hell this is on the face of the earth. Like, perfect example, here's an FK8 Type R, okay? Pre pretty ugly car. It looks aggressive, but once, you know, you, you peel back its face, you understand it's a pretty ugly car because a lot of it's just phony, fake shit. And then you see this, this monstrosity of a car, and you wonder to yourself, how am I focused on that ugly thing when there's this ugly thing looking right next to it? It's insane. That is one of the ugliest things ever. Someone's going to be like, Drew, that's a, that's a super rare kit, bro. One of 50 in Japan. That thing's like... $20,000 alone. To the right idiot, anything's expensive. You're right. Underneath the hood, turbo. So it does look like he has a real turbo. I don't know what that AC ducting was then. Um, a coil rad, which is a good rad. I mean, he's got like decent stuff. Japanese import, right hand drive, metallic green respray. A full re new body kit, front end conversion, work Nezart wheels. OEM hardtop, full roll cage, blah, 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 blah. If you want to read through all this, you could. Dude, $15,000 is a stretch. Like, it does look, besides the front bumper and the whole front end, it does look clean. Like, I like the rest of the car. Does he ever show the rear? I don't think he does. Okay, so maybe I don't like the rest of the car. I just don't like the front that much that I'm, I'm telling myself I like the rest of the car. Oh, God. Something else. 52, 52,000 miles. $15,000. Let me know. Am I just tripping? Is this thing beautiful? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So if you think this looks good, hey, I don't, I'm not going to judge you. You know, it's fine. Some people like different types of women or men. It's all good. No judgment. If you find this cute and you want to curl up with this at night, go for it. I don't mind. It ain't going to be me, though. That thing is a freak of fucking nature. 2001 Honda Prelude Coupe, 3300 bucks. This is right smack dead in the middle, according to Kelly Blue Book. Let's see what you get for that price. So we see the big old, uh, big old probably NRG wing. It's probably not NRG. It's probably just some eBay shit. The fenders look not like your typical universal wide body fenders. These look like fiberglass, like almost molded fenders. So we'll have to get a closer look at that. Um, you get a black hood and some smoked out headlights. It's probably natural smoke, as in they're just faded to fuck cool red banner yeah these these like wide body flares are a little bit different in my opinion than like the typical trash can lid ones that we see this is a little bit nicer the wing is still god fucking awful i don't think there's many cars out there that can rock a wing that size especially not the l1 prelude well, not with what 95 horsepower yeah you don't need a wing like that buster i don't understand like when people god it gets even worse i don't understand holy shit dude this is something like my grandma would do inside a car, like red velvet. God rest her soul. So yeah, this is this is a little bit too much. Nice photo of your distributor, moron. What are you taking photos of here, man? Your rusted header? Like, seriously. Okay, cool. Yeah, we see you got a VTEC head. We get it. We also see you have, like, fucking herpes on the interior of your car. It's always the slowest dudes out there making their car look the fastest and it sucks too because it's come to the point to where you see big wings and you just automatically assume they're slow you see a big wing on an evo and you're like oh i think slow you see a big wing on a supercar and you're like oh i think the thing's riced out when big wings have purposes it's just not on 95 horsepower shit boxes like this and seriously what did you do to your interior why did you do this who who did you pay to do this
Dude, imagine sweating your nuts off and everything around you is like felt carpet. Oh, God, it'd be the worst thing ever. You better hope that AC runs. Be so uncomfortable in there. You got a cushion back there. What, a cushion for the pushing? You ain't gonna be hitting no shit back there. With a car like this, who are you picking up? You ain't picking up nobody unless she's blind. How many miles? 130,000? Meh. It's not the worst. Yeah, this is something else, man. 3,300 bucks, good luck. Honestly, if you took off that wing, put a ducktail on it, I think you'd be able to sell it, but not like this. That wing is horrible. I'm surprised you don't have a fake hood scoop on the front. Morons. All right, we got one last car, and this one's from a dealership, listing it for $28,259. Let's see what you get for that price. Ooh, a Deadpool theme challenger. If I had a dollar for every time I saw a Deadpool theme challenger or charger, I'd probably have $5. And nowadays, that ain't worth shit, so I can't even go out and buy lunch. But, let's take a look at this one. Let's see if this one's different. We got bullet holes riddled all up on it. We got Deadpool silhouette, kind of looking cute on the side. I'm surprised there's no tiger stripes, no tiger slashes on it. Oh, we got another Deadpool figurine on the rear quarter. Okay, cool. Okay, we got like seven Deadpool stickers on the back, just in case you didn't know. He likes Deadpool. And then we have a Deadpool back windshield. Uh, Cool, love that, yep. Yeah. Oh, wicker bill. I didn't even notice the wicker bill, honestly. I didn't even notice it with all the Deadpool shit going on. Completely blended in. Yeah, so you got uh, five Deadpool stickers and then another, like I said, Deadpool silhouette thing on the back. Deadpool portrait. Okay, more Deadpool on the other side. It's the same thing, just split. Yeah, okay. And then you got Hellcat rep wheels. Cool. This is, I think, just a 5.7 at the end of the day. So, yeah, you know, once again, you got the slowest fucking car trying to look the coolest and choosing deadpool was not the option i like deadpool i think he's a cool character i'm not gonna be a, a hipster and say i liked him before the movies because i'm not a huge comic book guy as in i'm not a comic book guy as in i don't have a single fucking comic book but the movies were funny i did like the movies i am surprised he did not fucking have deadpool cum stains all over this interior man like put a deadpool size life-size huggable pillow and just Go to town. No, not November failed. I am very surprised by that. Yeah, okay. Well, the rest of the car is very um, dealership-oriented photos. But yeah, I've never, never understood putting, like, comic book characters and stuff, like, on your car. I've also never understood anime characters on your car. But to be fair, I haven't understood, like, any on your car. Now, I, I think a good example of one that works is, like, when Mike Mike had a C5 and the Carnage wrap. That one worked because it wasn't just, you know, the character on the side of the car it worked with the whole car. This, I don't think so. Like, if you wanted to do, like, a Venom car and have your car look like it's got, like, the Venom symbiote or symbiote on it, yeah, I think that would work. But this, I don't think so. Or, if you wanted to, just put the Deadpool logos on it and, and make it look like it's Deadpool's personal vehicle. But putting, like, portraits of the of the dude on the car, it's like... How old are you? I don't fucking know. Maybe that's real. why he got rid of it, man. He was getting clowned on. How much do they want for it again? 28000 Do they mention anything about the stickers? Because if I was a dealership, the first thing I would fucking do is rip those things off. First thing I would do. Maybe that was in their terms. Deadpool edition. Upgraded wheels and tires. Low miles. Upgraded exhaust. 5.7. Eight speed auto. Sick, bro. Sick ass build. Deadpool edition. Oh, well, I was an idiot born every day. Someone might buy this. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below which car was the worst. If I had to pick one, if I had to punish myself and pick one to drive, which one would I pick? Let's take a look. Which one would I pick? I just got to breeze through really quick. Refresh my memory. Honestly, I'm taking this ugly ass Miata. I'm just, I, it's a turboed car. It's got the nicest paint. It's got good body work. It's just fucking ugly. I'll take it. And I'll tell people that, you know, it was a famous person's car or something. It was Kim Jong Un's car or something. I don't fucking know. It was a, it was a rare rare edition. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Which one would you choose? Subscribe and thank you Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video, guys. Download Fishing Clash now. Click the link down below. It's a really fun game and it helps out the channel. Thank you guys and until next video, peace.